Hey guys, it's Beer now, and welcome back to Rayman 3. In the last part, we went through the Bog of Myrrh, and in this part, we are ready to tackle on the land of the Livid Dead. And if you played Rayman Origins, I keep saying oranges, uh, you might know the name of this place, the actual look of it, probably not. But anyway, so, enough dilly dally, dolly dally, schmilly schmoff, I just lost my combo, dang it. There's so many gems in here, this is perfect. This is perfect gem breeding ground. And I'm completely done goofing it. But that's okay. This ain't a hundred percent. This is my percent! Which is... I'm giving about 80. It's probably gonna be 80. There was a teensy here, I went to screenshot mode and I saw this at the end of the last part, so... How many people are gonna miss this one? There were ten of them, by the way, marked I for this. <laughs> All right. So anyway, I believe that one actually is required because if you go over to him, he gives you the the very needed green power, and you're probably gonna need that around here. I should have gotten that first. <laughs> yeah, you do need that. Excellent! Yeah, you do need that. Because then you need to grab this! And this lets you... Help. Shoot, uh, Help. this dude. Oh no, two of them straight off the bat. I have to go powder my nose. I have to powder my nose. Anyway, so he drops a yellow one. I know, using all the abilities. And he drops a plum. Holy crap, we only use this once. So anyway, so the plum mechanic is back. If you excuse me, game, I would love to pick it up. There you go, you did it. So we only need to bring this over to the to the pole here, to the little stick. Or I'll just completely waste it and chuck it at that one guy. I was... Oh. Oh, it's all good. It's good! It's all good! Here comes... Here comes the best throw! The slam dunk! The I'm taking jokes from Dunky! Whoosh! Dunked! Beautiful. I am the best when it comes to trying to shove basketball words into a Rayman Let's Play. Probably should have done that with a double, but eh. Eh, who's gonna care? People cringing because points. I like the idea of using points as the gauge for 100% because a lot of the time people ignore points now. Which means... Not... It's not too... Too mindy. Anyway, this isn't even 100%. I can be lax. I can be lazy. I can... Shove my fist into the wall like that. Alright. Got this dude. Serial shooter. Serial shooter. That was it. Yeah, I'm the best. You also got this. Some, some uh, orbs of oh, and water of life. <laughs> um, that's not that's not the first level, is it? it keeps going. Yeah, keeps going a bit. Oh, we got some plumbing juicing. Anyway, Glowbox coughs off some bubbles. Again. Now, if I can manage to jump right, this is a bit of a secret. I'm gonna try to not. Are you kidding me? Should be able to make that jump. Hold on. Because that's, that's not a jump I could make just with a standard. Oh, snap it is. Alright. Well. Congratulations, it's my lucky day and not yours. You're not playing this game, it was all me. Also, I've been paying attention to the dank memes. I'm expecting Flintstones to be playing. Uh... Yeah... 
I'm hip with the kids. I said that last part, didn't I? That's how you know I'm hip. I just keep saying the same thing over and over again. I don't even know. I'm not funny. I'm not a funny person. Uh -huh. But hopefully, I can bring some insight at, to, to good game design. Such as, these are probably trophies. Keyword is, yeah, that is probably from the first game. That's probably it. It's just two teensies. Don't really know why there's a room full of ice. It's just interesting. Anyway, let's actually go on with the level, shall we? Uh. Anyway, we got this dude. He fires in sports. You. Great, great, great. Oh. Ah, we got this dude. This dude's a bit interesting because he's in the air, which means you can barely see him. This takes a few hits. But other than that, nothing too bad. The enemies in this game aren't really too bad, but it's a bit of a combination of the enemies, similar to Doom. And that makes uh, the combat interesting. And environments. While it is a bit of like stand on the spot strafing, a bit of behind cover, it's kind of kind of interesting seeing how it all plays out. Ah, I gotta get that. You <laughs> gotta get that uh, teensy. Oh, lucky me. I have to go iron my guilt. Iron my guilt. All right. Look at all this money. Anyway, what you got for me? What bam is that? Yes! It is yet another power-up. This one actually makes your shoe crazy. And you have to hit your shoe a couple of times. I know, it's like, whoa, when did this come up? By the way, you actually, I, I forgot if you take damage, but if you crash into something at a pretty high speed, you definitely lose points, I know that. It's a little interesting. It's also a little annoying. It's quite annoying. Got that Katamari vibe, you know? You got the going little. I don't want to say that every game should do this. Because obviously it would get old. But I would like to see more games do the whole shrinking mechanic. Because it's not too hard. In most 3D game engines, you can easily shrink an object. And you can do that purely so you get the power punch. That's it. That's it. You couldn't have given the power punch. He gave the shoe. But the shoe was nice. I think it comes up three times in the game. I did a last second punch there. Nice. And I believe, yeah, that's the level. Time. Yeah. My controller's vibrating because cause three star race. New bonus level. Most likely I'm going to get all, almost all of them. Hey, I remember that from the trailer. From the from the before video, so the land of the Liver Dead is a is a nice level just because it's a combination of all the things we've learned basically, and I think it's probably the most overlooked level uh, in my eyes. We got best swimming. I know it's like whoa, when did when did swimming become a thing? You can't go under the surface, I believe. And it's, it's a trade-off. It's like, you can have water, but then you gotta have water controls. Is it worth it? And in this case, it's not. Whereas the original Rayman did have swimming. And by the original, I mean two, because I haven't played the first one. Don't kill me. Anyway, we gotta do pro, uh... Oh no, we got another one. <laughs> I didn't realize there was another one, but alright. Give him a kick. There we go. We did it. Some jamming music. Oh, snap. We got more. There we go. I did it. I beat the game. We got another one. There we go. Anyway, he gives us a grabby hand. And we can use that to go around. And you may not like this. If you play this game, you... 
Wow. You see that? You see that? I'm... I'm deeply saddened. Where's he shooting from? Above? From over there? He's probably behind something, isn't he? He's got me perplexed. I'll tell you that. Where's he? Where's he come from? Oh, it's a cheapo is just hiding behind the lines. Oh, 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 don't actually fly out. There we go. I'm the best. I did it. I figured the puzzle. The puzzle was I suck. Self-deprecating humor is the key to success. Apparently. Um, I don't know what that alternate path is for. Maybe it's just so I can stand up here and touch this one. Touch that balloon. Or I can go over there and get three gems, which I will ignore. Because this guy is more important. Is that the f fourth one? Yay. I need to go alphabetize my sausages. Alphabetize my sausages? Anyway, it gives us a green power. And you can use that. Go all the way here, just so you can lower the platform. I love the whole uh, kind of roundabout way of solving problems. Gem is not important. Enemies are. Then I ended up breaking a piggy bank anyway. Get him! Get him in the face! I do think this this is a nice level. This is this is one that you don't really. When people show off this game, they don't really show this level. They kind of show the first one, ignore the ignore the third one. The second level gets a bit. Anyway, here's a bit of a if you're awesome, you can get the stuff kind of room. Yeah. See if I'm awesome enough to get this thing. Yeah, buddy, I'm the best. And this doesn't end the level. Oh, it's not. Oh no, I don't. <laughs> ah, we've got a little, little uh, mini boss kind of dude. But does he get a health bar? No. Anyway, this guy's kind of interesting. I just want my shots to come from the side. Hold on. Hold on, are you kid? What? What is the happen? Spin him fast enough? Nope. Oh, I hit him. I don't really know what I did. If I do a bit of back and forth. There you go. Bit of back and forth. Controlled environment. That's that's a key thing. When you introduce a new concept in any video game, make sure you do it in a very small controlled environment. So in this case, there's no distractions, there's a bit of health, a bit of barriers if you need, a bit of cover, but something's wrong. The thing is wrong is that he needs to go to the doctor, apparently. Oh, who's gonna miss that one? Is that the fifth one? Oh, I guess we're 15 minutes into the level. Ooh, we needed that, didn't we? I actually really like this level. It's got a nice look to it. Dang. <laughs> I tried. Mission failed. We'll get him next time. Now, I believe this level has six scenes, so I'm actually gonna keep this one going until we get to the end of the third scene. I, lo I love this as a, as a mini boss. So maybe this one. Uh, dude, I was playing Boring Delance 2 and I had a mini boss like this one. So pretty much, with this guy, you try hitting someone, and then he goes to protect them in the center here. And that was it. 
That was it. Got some jamming music though. It reminds me of Croc a little bit. I don't really think it was a huge inspiration. Or maybe the music writer was uh, consistent. Maybe. Anyway, it's gonna keep going. We got we're being chased by this dude. I'm just gonna kick him. Anyway, this guy gives us the mis the, the missile hand, and we can use that to completely wreck this dude. The end. And then this guy thinks he can shoot us. I had the opportunity, I took it. Got a problem with that. Shoot these things as well. Bam. There's not really a huge reason to do that, but alright. I don't feel too good. Anyway, this guy gives us Disney Mickey Mouse hat. Which will be useful. Because of Like everyone else. <laughs> Alright. Anyway, I believe that's it for this level. We will keep going on with one more level, despite the fact that we are seven sixteen and a bit minutes in. Uh, yeah, we can. We can. Actually I think this one's only five sections. We'll keep it going, and if we, if we cut it, if we cut it close, then you get one long part, one short part. Or I'll probably just keep going because good timing, I guess. Well, that was easy. Just just one dude. You sure? Just run into the door. Apparently, I believe that's actually where we need to go. Cause you're up here, and you're like, what do I do? Well, the trick is to go up here and pick up some gems instead. Cause you can't hit this dude. He's too high up. He's called Rayman, not Good Aim, man. Just give him a strong punch to the face. Ding dong, ding dong. Ah. This area, man. Dude, that's... <laughs> so, yeah, we gotta climb this thing. But even more importantly, we gotta take out Mr. Flying Man here. And we've gotta hit some gems. Because gems are always important. Part of a balanced breakfast. No, it's a little weird. I just keep seeing these bugs everywhere. Is there a thing to it? I I don't know. Like I legit don't know. Maybe. I will I will maybe put in some notes in the in the uh, video right now if they pertain to it. Otherwise, I guess I won't. Yay! Ah, oh, dang it! When your combo just misses. So this is kind of interesting. You go on here and you're like, what is happening here? And you got the, the teensy in the middle, but you can't reach him. Actually, you probably could reach him. Nope. But you got a switch. And the switch is all we've got. What does the switch do? Sinking platforms. Classic platforming design right here. It's kind of neat. It's a bit of a it's a bit of a challenge. I would rather if I broke him free. I have to go. I have an appointment with my psychic. Where's he going? Oh, what do you even do? Let's make these platforms big again. Oh, he made the the blue goose happen. It would have been better if I stood on the steps. You guys ever play Sonic and the Secret Rings? Maybe I should let's play that someday. No. No, it already did. It wasn't. 
I don't know, I didn't have a great time playing it, to be honest. Reminds me of the final level, you know, that kind of vibe. Anyway, you gotta use it to, to swing, to float through the air and miss. Oh, oh, I'm, I did it. I did it. Dude, my, I, I think my, uh, my HDMI upscaler adds an incredible amount of bloom, because I don't remember it being this bloomy. But I think it's alright. There you go. So you got a bit of platforming. No way, it's not, it's nowhere near as bad as just like the few platforms to get up here. It's, there you go. Free the teensy. I fell down. I'll meet you downstairs. I will meet you downstairs. <laughs> Beat him to it, apparently. Where you at? Oh. There you go. One of my brothers is still held captive. Free him, and we'll open up our world for you. Sounds interesting. There's probably something down here, and I never even went to check it out. Wow! It's like flat zone. I did it. It was all me. Yeah, the last dude's down here, isn't he? Well, I'm getting a plum from somewhere. But, oh, dang, I missed. I should have used... Yeah, I remember. Alright. I mean, that's the nice thing, at least. They tell you that there's one dude left, just so you don't think that there's, uh, nothing to this downstairs part. That's some nice design. Man, you don't see design like this in games anymore. I... Okay, so... <laughs> this was something I brought up in a previous, um... In a previous part, I was like, oh man, I'm playing through the Tomb Raiders, and I just finished Tomb Raider 3, and I thought I, it was pretty good. It's been so long that I've finished all of them. And I can tell you that over the time, the design has gone from overly complicated, Tomb Raider 4, to just slowly going back down and down and down, and it just ended up being simplified beyond belief. I think the... The, uh, core, the core design ones, I also like how it gives you a little target, just just to further indicate this. Um, I believe the core design games definitely are a lot harder because they're a lot more complicated in terms of level design, whereas the Crystal Dynamics ones were nowhere near. Although I did like Anniversary, I liked how Anniversary had a bunch of features that made the game a bit harder for you, because after playing through all, all of them in chronological order of when they came out, Definitely stuff like manual grabbing just seemed like a much more, uh, not useful, but much more, uh, gives, gives you that agency. That's, that's about it. And then Underworld kind of didn't have it, and I was like, oh, okay. So we did it! Now we get to go! You kind of have to do get these guys in order, at least, so... Ooh, lightning. And don't say I can't pick up a vibe just because I'm whacked out. <laughs> Alright. Oh. Camera. Okay. So long episodes aside. As long as I I fell for that the second time. Like I know it's like, oh, you shouldn't have skipped them, but You win! You win, I'm bouncing on them one at a time. Now, it's a little hard to judge because the sprites. So you may be wondering, where is this going to take us? It takes us to this lovely room, where you got to fight them. And this guy has the punchy hands, so you can just punch him a couple of times. Great. So you may be wondering, what good did we just do in the world by freeing that? 
Well, good sir. I'll have you know that you just released the ability to walk up the stairs and fight yet another dude who is being protected by the wizard. By the wizro. It's not really, you can't really charge a punch from, so you just gotta hit him with the one off. But he doesn't have a lot of health. Dude, Rayman's the best. He's like the only character by Ubisoft in Smash 4. So, the, the goal here is shoot through the tiny hole. Make sure you square it up very nicely. So what treasures do you have in store? Well, it's another tower. It's like a little alternate dimension where the tower does exist. I just use this just, <laughs> just to do this nice little combo, that's kinda cool. I'm jumping, but I don't need to, you just kinda hold on. There you go. So you get up to the top, and then you see this guy chucking pipe bombs down here. I feel like I'm playing Donkey Kong. Donkey Kong is an oddly innovative game when you think about it. What kind of game had varied levels in terms of mechanics at the time? Also, Wizrobe. Can't even zap onto him. I'm just spamming the, the, the attack button because. Unfortunately, this guy doesn't stay in one place. Got him. So we did it! And these guys are all like, whoosh! But then, little do you know. He kills all, the, all these dudes. But, in order to get out of here, you gotta do it the hard way. So anyway, we get to ride this thing all the way down. I like this. This is, this is neat. Gives a different perspective to places you've already been to. And you can also pick up some gems on the way. Don't miss any, don't miss any, get hit, nice. Oh, don't overshoot it. There we go, okay, now we gotta beat him. Wherever he's gone. Where is he gone? Oh. Back through the door. Back down, we go. Hit the wall. Down here. He's still going. He's still going. All the way. What I hit? <laughs> I didn't even hit a thing. Nah, you're gonna take damage anyway. We go out the portal. Nope. That was a very no. He's around there somewhere, isn't he? There he is. Get him! So you've got the boost. Is it the best thing? Like, it's not the easiest to do this. You get more points for a boost, don't you? Yeah. It's a solid, it's a solid mechanic. Nothing wrong about it. Come on, I'm gonna get you. I'm gonna get you. Hey, I did it. So you may be wondering, what all that was for. And the only reason was to get back downstairs. That was it. it, it the doors wouldn't open again. You just need to do that. So anyway. Now we make the long walk all the way back. But you get to reflect on all the good times you've had in this level so far. And geez, I've been recording for half an hour. I thought this was going to be a bit quicker. 
Oh, snap. Is it another mini boss? Actually, I think we fought one of these guys already. But unfortunately, you can't hit this guy normally. What you gotta do instead is you gotta be powerful. Max power. And the one shot that was right there. So what this guy is. is you gotta back up. Get the power again. And you go up to him. All the bugs what you doing. You get him with a with a big punch and it knocks the armor up. Oh. Are you kidding me? I'm doing a full charge. Come on, game. Don't go. There we go. And there we go. We did Globox. Stealing the limelight there. We're a bit in the center here. But moral is... We... Moral? I keep saying moral. The whole point of this... Is it hit a switch? It took us that long as it hit a switch. Excuse me, I would like to get the red power for more points! And more bees! That's it. It was a good combo. Anyway, that was that was a lot longer than I was expecting. I, I hadn't played this like game in a while. So anyway, that's a level. Alright. Man, that looks a bit ominous. Wouldn't it be great if I said to be continued? Anyway, I'll see you guys next time on Rayman 3. Well, we'll figure out what's that. This is going. It's going to town. It's gonna wreck the Sydney Opera House in the back there. And Stonehenge. He's just still going. Alright.